What, uh, so you're from Pakistan, you said, right? Uh, can I ask you your name or is that? I just prefer Saracen. Okay. Just call me Saracen. Huh? Saracen. I used Saracen. To oh yeah, Saracen, the common name for Muslims back in the day. Yes, yeah. yeah, I understand. Are you going to watch your football game? I'm watching game? the football back and listen to you. Oh, man. Unless you, the Arsenal always come first. I'm a big Arsenal fan. We no, can discuss it's, after. Well, if I was just watching something and you were trying to get I'm my sorry, attention. I know that's rude. So yeah. we can have I a discussion wanna... after the game if you want. Lovely. If you're around, it's going to be finished in 90 minutes. But it's a big game for our title season. I go on the Arsenal fan TV and stuff. That's really what I'm more into. I just had a few questions. If you have a break right now, we can talk about it's something. about to kick off. You could just follow it later afterwards. So, we just have a so my question was that you mentioned that there were Christians and Jews who were part of the Ummah, yeah. the early, which yeah. part of Islam are we talking about? So what is it early? early on, so early on meaning yeah. 5 years, 10 years, 20 years, no, 100 the years? Time of the, Prophet's life. the life of the Prophet? Yes. Oh, okay. Of uh, and there's a book by um, Robert Hoyland who discusses this. He says who's some the, of the, Robert author? Hoyland. He's a, he's a anti uh, historian of late antiquity. Oh, and he's see. got the in the path of God, I think it is. Or in the path in the of shadow. God. In the shadow. Yeah, of God. No, no. Okay, uh, I'll have to look that up. Books, anyway. yeah, yeah, I'm not familiar with him or his work. But he's actually said, showed how Jews and Christians were part of the community, where there was different types of Jews and Christians. So the Quran is clearly against Trinity. But I believe there were um, people believed in one God, Christians that believed in one God. And I believe that after, some of them were potentially Jewish Christians after the, uh, after right. the persecution of the right. Sassanid, uh, when, the, when they supported the Sassanids, they were persecuted in that uh, area from Persia and they came into Arabia. Um, uh, Who came into Arabia? Some of the Jews, some of the, some of the Christian. Uh, oh, great. What, what you would deem a heresy, um, I believe that they Are you talking about the Aryan heresy? Is that no, the heresy no, we're no, talking about? Heresy. There were many different Christian Yes, groups. there were Gnostic heresies. And there were Ebonite Christians. Ebonite heresies. Well, Jewish Ebonites Christians. were Jews, yeah. Yeah, there were so, Jewish Christians, there was a Nazareth. Oh. And the Nazareth are actually mentioned in the Quran. Now you made a very good point. Yeah. So uh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Because it was, because of the Byzantine Empire, they, anybody who was going against the church, they would be like, let's say, excommunicated, so to speak, yeah. right? And those people would not be welcome in the community. So they would then go to the south, where the Arabian desert is, and they would like flourish in that area. Yeah. So there were many different heresies in that area. Yes. And one of the biggest ones in that area would be the Aryan heresy, because the Aryan, after the, after the Council of Nasia, they weren't that much welcomed in the, in the thing anymore because of the views that they had on the Trinity. Meaning that they were uh, basically heretics in Christianity because the, the, the belief that Jesus is not, a, uh, is not God and that uh, you know he's a created being or what have you. So if you have that view... Theodore is converted afterwards, isn't he? After right. So if you have that view, you are not considered a Christian to begin with. You're orthodox, yeah. I, 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 use, I use orthodox about the mainstream okay. Christian. Let's say let, the let, let me just say that, give you an example. Today, yeah. there are what you call them Unitarians, like yes. Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. They are one example of yeah. Unitarians. Yeah. So these are also people who don't believe in the deity of Christ. Yeah. So. What do we consider them? Do consider? No, I don't, I don't think. I know mainstream Christians don't consider. Them. That's right. So that was the same back then. Yeah. That the ones that you so-called Christians yeah. were not Christians See, at all. Yeah. No, but before the, the Council of Nicaea, Nicaea or Nicaea, Nicaea, they they were accepted. There were different types of Christian groups. Well, they were okay. But post, the, I, I accept what you're saying. That post the Council, right? They were now, excommunicated. Now, no, no. Okay. They existed, that doesn't mean they were accepted. If they were agreed, accepted, agreed, there yeah. would be no need for Council of Nicaea because they were already accepted. In order to clarify this whole uh, discussion of the deity of Christ, the Council of Nicaea was held to figure out whether, you know, Trinity is true or whether the, you know, Unitarian view is right. And then he was the only person, Arius and his assistants, who were opposing the whole council, basically.
Okay, and then they were they were excommunicated. They left and they went. I'm not probably. talking about Arianism. I'm saying there was within the early Christianity. And I'm saying there were many many other heresies yeah. such as Gnostics who believed that Jesus was not was not a, a human or whatever. He was just a spirit. Yeah. So that's all. So all these things yeah. is what is in Islam. Like I was having another debate right now with a Muslim where it was talking about the three gods in, in Christianity. I'm like, where is the Christians who believe in three three gods? He said, well, there used to be Christians that believed in Mary as God. I, and there is... Yeah, there was. Okay. So that's what I mean. Yeah. Everything that was heretical was in that area. Now, you, you, you say that they were. Now, in Christianity, no, Mary is not a deity. Agreed. Okay. Agreed. Now, now I got a problem here. But, but, but there was there was a group. That all right. All right. Let's say there was a group. Okay. Oh, it's a story. All right. I agree with you for the sake of argument. Yeah. There was a group. Okay. Yeah. Now let's move forward. Why would your Allah not know that these people were not the representatives of Christianity when He said in the Quran, "You took Mary, Jesus, as your God." So why did He say that? Didn't Allah know that? Christians actually do not consider Mary as a deity. Okay, so when you look at, within the Quran, there's different groups that it's talking to. Yeah? So if you read the Quran in totality, it is clearly against Trinitarianism. From my understanding, I could be wrong. Uh, we yeah? both agree yeah. on that. But there's also within that, amongst the Jews and the Christians, amongst them, they, 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 I don't want to misquote the Quran, but it talks about how they have salvation and how if they do towards righteousness. Now, who were these groups? So my understanding is that there were a group of Christians that were in line with monotheism, similar to Islam. Either, Those were the Unitarians, bro. I don't think it was a Unitarian. Okay, please, you gotta, you got to make so it clear who you're talking was, about. Uh, so it mentions the Nazareth. So my understanding of this is the group that came from James the Just. Who? The, James the Just. James the Just, Just. James the Just was the leader of the church after Jesus. Yeah. No, he wasn't. So it's in the Bible. Huh? It's in the Bible. In James the Just. You mean the brother of Jesus? Yes. And you're saying he was a I, Unitarian? I no, no, I don't want to say Unitarian. Okay, what was he? He was a monarch. Was, was, was he a Trinitarian? Was a was he a Trinitarian? Who believed in the teachings of God. Okay, but did he was he a Trinitarian? That's my no, question. No, but they were, I think his group. Oh, hold on, hold on. Are you saying James wasn't a Trinitarian? Yeah, he wasn't a Trinitarian. No. Okay, you're gonna have to show me why you believe that. Because I've read books on it. Uh, no, so no, no, I, I no. Come on, man. You're you gonna show me how he was. Wait a minute. You brought up this yeah, up. You, I didn't you asked me. I, for my research, he wasn't a Trinitarian. Absolutely. No. Okay. Give me some reference. You just gave me a couple of references of some other so, works that so you've seen. Know, who, ha who have given you this idea first okay, that James so, was the leader so of the from church? My understanding is Paul uh, and James did get on. Oh? Uh, Paul and James did get on. You, as you call Saint Paul uh, and so uh, Paul and James. James was the, uh, from my understanding, James was the leader of the church. I think it's mentioned in one of the Bibles that he was the leader of the church within Jerusalem. I believe a lot of the James followers were persecuted post early on. We know Christians were persecuted, right? And these Jewish Christians were persecuted. I know I'm coming out with stuff that you may not have heard of. There's a brilliant book. No, no, I've heard most of it, but there is like the okay. James theory that you're coming up with yeah. is something that I haven't. That's what I was asking yeah. you references so, for, but the rest of the stuff I, I know. Probably, I can't get it, obviously. I'll yeah, because that is not a theory. Yeah. Because the thing is this let me give you the, the intro, Please. my side of this. There were Aryans, there were Assyrians, you know, the Assyrian Christians who spoke Syriac. Yeah. That's where you get the word Yesu from. Okay, Isa is a, is a, is from that name of Jesus, which is in Syria. Yeah, absolutely. Now, the problem that I have, even just talking about that point, is that Allah is getting information from sources that are not the original sources, because the Jesus name was not in Syriac; it was in Aramaic, and the Aramaic name was Yeshua. Now, in the Quran, it, Allah should have said the son of Mary, yeah. Yeshua, because he knew his real name. Yeah. Instead of taking his real name, he took his Syrian name. Yeah, I agree with you. Okay, so that's we, a, one problem. 
The second problem is Can Allah. I just go on that point. So, go ahead, go ahead. so within that, we had recently found an inscription in Syria, like you said, where it mentions Isa, and it, and now we see uh, with rock engravings around. Before we used to think that it was just in the Medina area, but now we see around the Hijaz, which is Mecca, Taif. We see lots of inscriptions with crosses and stuff like that. So it shows there was a vibrant Christian community. What they are doing research is what kind of Christians. Were. So this goes back to my theory and it goes back to many theories and what people are proposing now that there was different types of Christians within that. I mean, we know there was Monophysites and stuff like that, which obviously you don't accept, but they were quite big in, for example, in Ethiopia at the time, but there were other Christians. In the Quran, it mentions the Nazarenes, the Nazarenes. And Nazarenes, as you know, they came from uh, Nazareth because James is seen as a Nazarene. Early Christian fathers called him James Nazareth. So, so there was a group of a community that came within that. I believe they treat, they kept that, and I believe the injil that is mentioned is the injil that they had. And, and we know from church fathers they, they had you know, the book of the Hebrews and there were other books that were mentioned as well. The book of Matthew. Right, you're going on now because yeah, yeah, you're making like 10,000 points. I, I, accept, I was sorry. just giving you the chance to respond yeah. to Esau yeah. and now you went into a whole different I thing. I went on a tangent. Yeah, you did. And now I've got to address all of them because the problem yeah, is right, you just brought something up. Like, so. <laughs> and I do, you went on the tangent here because you just said, oh, because you uh, just so you, can you reiterate exactly what you yeah. said about these people? Because it's like yeah. so many things I don't so, want to okay, miss. Let, it. Let, let's start. So yeah. in the Quran, it talks about these people. Nazarene. Nazarene. Okay. Yeah, Nazarene. Let, let me go back to Nazarene. Now, Jesus is from Nazarene, right? Nazareth, yeah. Nazareth, right? Yeah. Okay. So is he a Nazarene? Yes, I believe. Okay. So people from Nazareth are called? Uh, I think they were called Nazareth. That's, That's right. right. So now, the, when the Quran mentions uh, Christians, what does it call them? Um, it, it talks, so within the Quran, this is important. So when we talk about the Quran, the Quran says the Jews say or the Christians say. No, no. Uh, yeah. Give me the word. Al Kitab. No, no, no. The, book, the, the name of the Christians. The what? No, 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 no. What does it call the Christians? So there's this the one saying. The so Nasri, Nasrians, right? So there's, yeah, they, they, yeah, Nazareth. Nazareth, yes. right, okay. So the Nazareth, in your view, is a sect of Christianity. Yes. Yeah. Now, if you can tell me where you got the idea that that was a sect of Christianity. So I have researched early on, uh, and uh, I have known that there was James. We know James was a historical figure. He's a brother From of Jesus. He was a brother of Jesus. Joseph S. Uh, was it there was a Jewish historian mentioned Josephus. Josephus yeah. uh, he said he was the leader of the church at the time. Well, there, there is there's also um, there's also uh, within early Christianity that he didn't agree necessarily with the teachings of okay. Paul. So no, no, I understand. He was no, but, but all so the just, disciples just were leaders of the yeah, churches, yeah. right? So all of them were. He was. A, he, he maintained the Jewishness. So mm. he, he maintained the Jewishness. The Jewishness. So ah. he wasn't as. Uh, Christian as, as you are my brother but he was like um, he, he meant so you keep when the you laws, say that okay keep the laws. Right. hold on just one step yeah. at a time when you say he was he maintained the Jewishness yeah. are you talking about he maintained the law some of them no 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 yeah. James did he maintain yeah. the law the, 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 the message I believe it, to put it simply I believe he, he, he maintained the message that uh, Jesus gave. yeah my friend I think we're getting a little confused here when you say he kept the Jewishness, yeah. the Jewishness would be the keeping the laws of the Jews, yes. right? The Moses yes. law, yes. Mosaic law, Mosaic right? Law, yeah. Okay, so was he doing that? I, I believe so from my research. He I was? So, yeah. Now, that's a very big claim, yeah. okay? Because I can tell, assure you that James would not do that, okay? Because doing oh, yeah. that... Okay. I could be wrong, that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah, okay, you could be wrong, and, in, and, and I would say that you are wrong because no Christian, that was an early struggle in the church where there was Jews converting to Christianity but then maintaining their Jewish traditions because they weren't, it wasn't clear to them that that was unnecessary at this point. And there was a whole first council that was held in Jerusalem was about this whole debate about circumcision and all this because they were, they were converting he, uh, Greeks to Christianity the and the, the Gentiles and they were talking about are we gonna have them convert to 
Judaism first and get a circumcision and then enter into Christianity because that's what we're doing. That's what Paul said, didn't he? Paul allowed them to uh, follow their life. Paul was you, relaxed, look at, whereas... And I, think I can is, make a correction here if you would allow me, yeah, please. Please, please. When you say Paul allowed them, yeah. you're saying, and you're implying, not saying but implying, yeah, yeah. that Paul had the authority to give this uh, this yeah. order or this uh, allowance, right? Yeah. That's not the case. That's what I brought up the first council in Jerusalem. Okay. Okay. In that council was a discussion, not a, a, a command given by Paul that don't circumcise the Gentiles. No. They discussed it and they concluded that that was for the Jews. So to push back on that, from what I've read from the early uh, readings of what Joseph has said, is that there was a definitely a friction between uh, Paul and some of, some of the early companions, like with James and stuff like that. Uh, and, and there was, what they were upset at was Paul telling the Gentiles uh, that they, they didn't need to get certain styles, they didn't need to... Yeah. Uh, so, so, would you, so, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm wrong, but yes, you you're are. A, bit, a bit more knowledgeable right. than me. But I, has, it was that the case? Was right. there, did so let me allow, correct that yeah, because yeah. I think you might have that misconception yeah. and maybe it's coming from Josephus and I don't believe that Josephus actually said that. Might be Tassel, yeah, yeah but uh, because, of, because of the history that we have, there was a discussion because it was something new and whenever you do something new, the people who are following the old tradition would say, well, what about this tradition? Are we going to carry it on or are we going to stop this and do this? And there were discussions going on. That doesn't mean that some of them were like, okay, no, you have to do this and you have to do that. Now, where this connection comes into action is when there were Jews who didn't want to believe the deity of Jesus. Those would be the Aryans. Those would be the people who would not believe in the Trinity. I think were Aryans, though. This one, I mean, uh, I think this is where we'll probably disagree. I think there were certainly certain Jews that didn't believe in the deity. I 100% agree with that. And I believe that there were Jewish Christians as well, like the ones that were in between. And I believe there was an absolute. I believe there was Jews that had the original message. Right. So we know there was a message before even Jesus came. There was there was a group that, that, that were very strong monotheists and stuff. And I believe Jesus came from this movement. No, he didn't. So let me tell you what you're talking about. When you say there were Jews, there were people who were monotheists. The monotheists were the Jews. So the Jews were the monotheists. The people who carried on this until the, the, the third century yeah. were the Aryan, the followers of Aryans. And there once. Were some Aryans. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but there were other. I'm not saying that yeah. they were the only oh, heretics. Would you, would, you, would you say there was other, what you would deem as heretics? That yeah, yeah, they were. They were they were deemed, not by I deemed them heretics. But do you think that's that's what the church deemed that them. There were people who followed James's view. No, there isn't any history of that. That is something. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. That happens here every every Sunday. I don't know if you know about this. Yeah, that's minor. We have a lot more happening. But anyway, all right. So there was a lot of heretical groups that I'm not saying they were heretics. Is what the church considered them heretics, right? So whenever you have something like that happen, those people either by themselves because they're not welcome in the community anymore, separate themselves and go somewhere else, which is where I was telling you they were going to Arabia. That was like the uh, uh, like the no man's land, right? So that was where the where the authority of the church and everything was not there. So they would all be existing there yes. now the strongest one in that community were these Aryan Christians that they were the Aryan Christians I'm sure they were Aryan Christians yes. I don't think they were the strongest ones. well that, we that, don't know that the fact yeah, is well we that's where Islam developed from was the Aryan Christianity because in Islam you have a lot of Christianity and it comes from the heretical Christianities of the time including um, don't worry about that it's I know, I know. It's got all your attention. Uh, yeah, and I'm, no, maybe I'm talking I'm to myself I'm now. <laughs> I don't want. To. Okay, let's step away from here. We'll just, just break that up and then. I'll no, no, don't worry about breaking it up. It's gone. It's done. It's done. It's done. Um, no. Uh, I don't know. He just went. I think he was just trying to get away from the conversation. He said he wants to go and break up the fight, which is like the fight is broken up anyways. And he's gone over there. He said, I'll be right back. He's right over there on the right side. I don't know why he's getting involved when he's talking to me.
Yeah, now the police is here. It's just, I think he's just looking for a way to get out of the conversation. Because uh, early heresies were all concentrated in Arabia, and the strongest one of them were the Aryans who initiated Islam. It wasn't Islam for the first two centuries. It was like a hodgepodge of like Christian, uh, the, the, like pseudo Christianity and all kinds the of. The world just needs love. Great. The world just needs love. Well, <laughs> if you have love in the Quran, I would come to you. We do have love. But you in only the have love in the Bible. We have love in the Bible. We have love in the Quran. We have, we have a whole generation. Of well, that's a whole different the debate. Sufism, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not a Sufi, are you? I'm, I respect Sufism. I love the teachings of Islam. How would you describe your Islam? Are you? A, I, I follow the evidence. I don't know. If I was to ask you, do you are you leaning towards Shia Islam or, or Sunni Islam? I'm Sunni. Sunni. I'm, I'm Hanafi. Hanafi. Oh, the Hanafi and Salafis are not good friends, are they? You know what it is? I used to believe that. Oh, I used to call them Wahhabi. How are you, bro? I don't do that anymore. I just think that we're all Muslim. And I also have respect for Christian. I don't come here to convert anyone. I come here. I, I just come here just to have a look around. When I was younger, I was a bit more zealous and stuff like that. No, I know, I know. But the thing is that you are. See, you as I don't a believe I'm a chosen person. I don't know if I'm going to go to heaven. I don't know if you're going to go to heaven. I don't think. So. But I, I wouldn't say, oh, poor Christians are going to hell. This is my, my right, person. right. In my uh, in my opinion, I know the Christians you. will go to are heaven. The safe people. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I because if I wasn't them. saved, I wouldn't be a Christian because that means I would be just being the line with everybody else because they're all trying to earn their way to heaven. Yes. And I Do cannot. Christians cannot earn their way to heaven. I don't want to get away from our religious yeah. conversation, but, but can I just ask you, do you, believe, do you honestly believe, like, because Jesus died for the sins of man, yeah. that, and if you just believe in Jesus, you're going to go to heaven? Is, yeah. that, your, is that your understanding of how I, I got this uh, wrong? So in a nutshell, I would just say go to John 3.16, and that would give the answer that for God so loved the world, whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Yeah. So that would be the nutshell answer. Okay. Now, the, back to the question of uh, early Islam coming out of the heresies of Christianity, basically the Aryan heresy and the Gnostic heresy, because all the stories of Gnosticism and of the Aryan beliefs are found in the Quran. That's what my main point is. And the early Islam is a hodgepodge. It's not a well-defined, uh, you know, as you say, that's why when you say the communities included like Jews and Christians, yeah. those were these heretical Christianities that you consider Christians, perhaps right? For you they right. Be, uh, so, but be, but because they had yeah. some of the uh, the theology of Christianity, they brought that's what seeped into but Islam they, but they were part through of the Ummah, them. But they were part of the Ummah. This but they, they, the Ummah was wide. It was only right. later on that it became Jews. Right. If we consider them pagans, and you say they were part of Islam. And, and we do consider, now I'm not being yeah, offensive, yeah, yeah. we do consider Islam to be pagan. Of course, of okay? I, that's so, that's so that's yeah, that's so that's anytime you have that, the, the word Christians were part of the Ummah is not true, is my point. There were no Christians so, so, that would be so part I, of I, the... Yeah, I think I'm fully arguing. So you're saying, in the Quran it comes to Christians, but you don't believe in Christians. They, that's right. Whereas we do. We believe they had the original and, message. And when the Quran says that the, you take Mary and Jesus to be yeah. gods, that means that Quran is taking that from those really heretical yeah. Christians. Yeah. And so, uh, why does Allah talk about a, 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 a fringe cult of Christianity so if there was one? The Quran is also engaging with the debate on the time. So it's engaging with the... With the with some now, this is innovation. So, no, no, this is innovation. Dealing with, the, with some of the things that were being said at the time, so it's dealing with some of the, the heresies. So we know there was a sect that worshipped Mary and stuff. Like that. So there's no doubt about that. Yeah? So we know that was that, that was there. But we can. It's actually really interesting because we see you call of Pokemon. We see there's like this engagement with the different communities. We see. So for example, it used to be seen as the Mushriks were just these idol worshippers in Mecca. That's a traditional line that came out of scholars 200 years, and the Prophet Muhammad came, broke 360 idols, and then the Kaaba became. There's a much deeper thing about that. Yes, now we're seeing, um, now we're seeing, um, sorry, I'll ask you this question. <laughs> now we're seeing that, uh, basically, that there were Christian groups. The, 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 
the so-called Muslims so it's asking those questions. Yeah. So it's asking those questions. There was a much bigger Christian community, or what you would deem a heretical Christian community, within that. These are there's descriptions. There's um, historians like Akhil Jalal who, who does antique work and stuff like that. He's got work and stuff like that. That's coming up. The traditional view that everyone was a pagan. We're not saying that. We're saying, saying that they were pagans. Two, three hundred years. Then it was going to towards monetism and the Prophet came from the milieu of that as well. Um, if you finish, because yeah. I, have to, I have to answer, but if you keep going on then I won't be able to answer everything. Then I'll have to ask you to re repeat yourself. So, my point here would be that when you talk about these Christians and that the Quran is talking about these Christians and the, the current arguments with the Christians and things of that nature, my argument to that is but there is an established Christianity in that time which is called the Byzantine Empire. Okay? When Allah is referring to a people who are following a faith, he would be talking about the Byzantine Empire rather than the heretics. No, no, no. What I'm no no no. What it's not an interpretation. I'm just saying, if I am God, if I want to talk about the followers of Jesus who were living in the Byzantine Empire rather than the this the south, uh, you know, the Arabia, where there is like nothing of was those. There, there, there was a northern Arabia, Hijaz. Yeah, Hijaz, Hijaz. So rather than talking about Hijaz, because then you're saying that Allah is just concerned or talking about only Hijaz, He's not talking about the Christians of the world. Because either He's addressing the Christians of the world, or he's addressing the Christians of Hijaz. So, in the Quran, so called Christians of so, Hijaz. So, so called. There's two different uh, types of Christians. So, there's different Christians, like I said. And it, this is where you have to look at history, you have to look at pre Islamic Arabia, you have to look at the milieu, you have to look at the history that came out before the Prophet Sallallahu and what was born into. And you, can, and you have to follow the trail. This is where it gets complicated. Those people who follow the trail are uh, I I do follow the trail, by the way. This is what I'm saying. You'll know that there was different types of Christians. Now, it's against Trinitarianism, but why in other parts of the Quran is it very pro-Christian? You know what I mean? So we have to know Arabic language. Now, in Arabic language, it will say in the place that the Jews say. It doesn't mean all Jews. It means that there was a particular type of Jews that said a particular type of thing. Or say the Christians say. It doesn't mean all Jews. You know, I will, uh, the way I would counter that is like when it mentions the Nazarenes and you say he's mentioning yeah. that sect of Christianity, then he could be that specific and say the Jews of Medina or Yatra yeah, or whatever. It but it doesn't say that. No, doesn't. So that tells me that Allah has the capacity to specify what he's talking about if he's talking about a specific people yeah. as he does with like as per you Nazarenes meaning the these Quran Christians. Is deliberately ambiguous. So the, for example, the crucifixion, I mean we're, we're going to digress into it but it says it made it appear. Do you know what I mean? And, and it's only a problem the Quran asks you to use your internet. This is a book for those people who use it. It asks you to do your research. It asks you to read things. It asks you to keep an open mind and stuff. I'm not that, like I said, I'm not like a lot of people that think, oh, No, I can tell Muslim. you're not like a lot you're of other people. Is going out. I yeah, think yeah. if you're genuinely seeking, and you've genuinely got, like, from the bottom of your heart, you're seeking God, be it in Christianity, or be it in Hinduism, or be it in Islam, and you're seeking, I think God will give you that truth. And then God will question you on the day of judgment when you're standing. I gave you this information. So you, God doesn't like arrogance. So you just arrogantly dismiss it because they were Muslim. Yes, they were that's Christian. right. That's right. This is why I, I like to learn about. I mean, there's a lot of arguments I can make here, and I'm not going to go into yeah. everything. Yeah. But I want to be very specific because I don't want this to go yeah. here and there going, and everywhere, yeah, going, yeah. all over the place. Yeah. So let's go to the part where you said about um, what were you talking about? These specific. Christians, right? So Allah can be very specific. Oh no, about the crucifixion. Sorry, yeah. that was a point. So in your view, yeah. what is talking the Quran talking about when it says it was made to appear? Because I have a lot you, of Muslims. You probably know this because you know about the, the Gnostic Gospels and stuff. There was a Gnostic Gospel that said that um, Simon of Serene maybe was Jesus made to appear. appear. I think it's 
potentially could, potentially, I don't know if it is, potentially could be engaging in that debate, or it could have another meaning where he was put, this is my personal belief, he was put on the cross and he didn't die. So he survived the cross? I think he survived the cross. Okay, so... I, 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 that's my, and that's right. based on like research that I've done. And I so you're really saying wrong. that God made him appear to be dead when he wasn't dead. And what does it mean by they say that they crucified? Who's they? It's talking Who's about, is it talking about the Jews? Because they say they crucified It addresses the so Jews and says they say... So within yeah. the, you have to look at the million. So the Jews yeah. used to say at the time, like, oh, we killed Jesus. So, and it says they killed him not. Mm. It made it appear to him. So this is why it's fascinating because it forces you then to go and look at the crucifixion. It forces you to research. It makes me research what does Mark say. Mark is Mark's crucifixion is different to there's no resurrection. Uh, there's no resurrection in Mark. Am I right? But in Matthew and Luke and, and then it gets and the narrative gets changed. Well, uh, no, 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 okay. Let's stick with one point because you're making a lot of points because you just went to Mark and of you made course, a point. Of course, but what there. I, point I, is is it, and that's why I, I just wanted to stay with the crucifixion and the point that you were yeah. making about him yeah. appearing to be and you made your point of view is yeah. he was on the cross, he didn't die, yeah. it was made to appear that he died. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so that I don't misunderstand and I don't want to go here and there with Mark and all this other stuff that you're throwing in there. Now, if... He was, it was made to appear to them that yes. he was dead. Who did that? Was it Allah who did that? Okay, what was the purpose of doing that? So when we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done something, it's a whole story of, of, of human beings, yeah? So it also says in the Quran that there was, I think, 125,000 uh, prophets, uh, 330 messengers, and they came in their own rank. God has spread us. God says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Quran, had I made you want to be one community, I could have made you. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, why, I've heard why? that. God hasn't made us. But you, he wanted, okay, so you you're saying God wanted to create Christianity. I believe so. You believe so? I believe so, yeah. I, I, Christianity is like, amazing. Like, it's beautiful. Like, the, the studies, you look at how human, in the West particularly, a lot of the people who study the Bible, the really religion, it's open people's minds. You know it's open people's minds. It has closed people's minds. People, I don't, I don't look at the negative. And there has been negative of Christianity, but those people are taking it It's very intellectual. You have to do your research and stuff. But what God doesn't like, and this is why I said earlier, is those people are arrogant. So I believe if you're so sincerely looking at Christianity and you come to a distorted version of Islam, like some of these people preach, like the Prophet married a nine-year-old and this that. Why would you become a Muslim? Do you know what I mean? Mm. That, I believe Islam is the truth. I don't believe the Prophet married nine years. Do you believe? Do, okay, let's not go there right now because I, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go. Oh, yeah. But what I'm saying is, if you're, you're sincerely and, and you believe you're, you sincerely see, but a distorted view has come to you. What Islam? Yeah, yeah. You don't, I believe you may have an excuse on the day of judgment. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's another point, though. I don't want to go to all those points. You're yeah. making a lot of points. I just want to be very specific. So you're saying that Allah wanted to create Christianity and He did this. Why? Because He wanted to create Judaism. And Judaism. And Judaism. Now, are you going to go there too? Yeah, I believe that all these religions were created and they all believe in one God, just in essence. Yeah, alright. Well, I think that's not right, but uh, it's okay. But I, I don't want to go into that direction either. I just want to speak with the crucifixion of Christianity and God creating Christianity. Yeah. Because the Quran also says that I will have the followers of Jesus be the top one till the day of judgment, right? They will be up, uh, above the disbelievers till the day of judgment, the right? The followers of Jesus. So it's full of Jesus. They'll be, uh, I think, uh, they will, uh, I, I can't remember what it actually is. But yeah, it's, a, it's in 355. But is it, you're saying it's, it's a positive Quran 355. thing? It's a positive thing. Are you saying so? Because no, I'm sorry, trying to make a, what okay. So Did what I'm say? trying to say is that if I follow your logic yeah. and say, okay, Jesus wasn't, didn't die on the cross. Yeah. Allah made it appear. Yeah. Allah wanted to create Christianity. Mm. Then how would you then go and look at the Quran and how would you look at this verse where it says that Allah says that I will have the followers. He's talking to Jesus. Allah, yeah. Allah is talking to Jesus. Yeah, I'll have the followers of you be the uh, highest one above the disbelievers till the day of judgment. Okay, okay. so we, that, now the way, the that way, means that, that there are followers say, of Jesus. Let yeah, me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. Now that that would mean that there are followers of Jesus that are going to throughout the history after the crucifixion yeah. until the end of the time. Yeah. Be the above. That goes every, back to James the, the Justice point. I believe the followers of James the Just 
were at the original message of Jesus Christ. I believe who had the original Anjil? I, I think potentially. I don't know. Okay. But I, would, uh, I would say potentially. Right. They potentially. Had the okay. So now the followers of James, yeah. but not the followers of Jesus. Then why didn't the Quran say, I'll have the followers of James, your follower, be the highest to the end of the time? Like the language of the Quran doesn't, isn't like that. It will say right. the followers of Jesus. James right. wasn't a prophet. Uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, was. was. So James was a follower of Jesus. Therefore, the followers, the followers of, James. of James would be the followers of Jesus. Let's go with yeah. that logic. Because yeah. I don't want to go yeah, into yeah. all directions. Okay. okay, I'm going to go with that. Yeah. So the, that means that then those people existed at the time that Islam came. Yeah. And then they would be existing today, Some correct? Sort of message. No, not necessarily. I believe that once the Prophet came, or the Prophet, peace be upon him, came, a lot of them, they became Muslim. A lot, because, wait a minute. Because hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Now you're contradicting yeah. Quran. Right. Because Quran doesn't say that. Quran says the followers of Jesus, yeah. not the followers of Muhammad. No. Okay, or they, those followers of yours will be followers of Muhammad and they will be the ones in the end of the days. That would be a different Quran. We don't have that one. So there's two words in the Quran that are very interesting. People don't read the answer. There's Muslim and there's Muslim. What? Mu'min. 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 Believers. Yeah, believers. So the Quran talks about Muslim ah. and it talks about believers. Mu'min. This is Mu'min. And this is Fred Donner's theory that it was an ecumenical community. The Prophet Jesus said, look, no, be a good Christian. Be, be well, a, the so-called Christians, yeah, right? Yeah, but so-called, what you don't. Be good Jews. I, I believe that those people who did righteousness. The Quran talks about righteousness and justice. The Quran talks about righteousness and justice. Later on, I believe scholars came and they institutionalized religion, just as I think they did with Christianity, by the way, as well. And I believe that's where the issue came in. And so, yeah, there are certain points I would agree with you there. Yeah, there was a church that, uh, you know, like, was more like a, what do you call that, like a government power than, than a spiritual power. And in Christian God, Jesus said that my kingdom is not of this world. That was mean that it was a spiritual kingdom, not a physical one. Anyways, that, that's another point that we don't want to go into because we, we want to just discuss wh why is Allah creating Christianity by deception, by the way, because now he's deceived his mother. Now, now, now let me say, clarify that. Let me clarify, please. Why I say that is because his mother is standing there. John, all his disciples, they are in hiding, but they're watching what's going on because they're in Jerusalem. So they're seeing what's going on. So all of them are now deceived into the believing that Jesus has died. However, Allah is not giving we them don't the know information. For sure what they actually saw, what they didn't see. We don't know. No, no, no. I mean, okay. How do we even know about the crucifixion? It's from the Bible account, right? And uh, I think Joseph has mentioned it. Oh, um, now you're gonna go there. No, no, okay. But, 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 if you go there, no, what no, you're telling me, I, if you go generally there, generally I accept your point. Yeah. The Bible if you go there, generally. then you cannot argue but, but the that he is, didn't die because not those clear, people. Though. This is what I'm saying. The actual crucifixion, there's contradictions within the different three, four gospels, right? As no, there when, isn't. When did he? When was Jesus crucified? No, no, no. So there for isn't, example, there in isn't. Mark's gospel, it was. Okay. It was, a, it look, was the look, day before look, look, the sheep look. were thing. In Matthew's gospel, I think it was in John's gospel, it was the day on the when you know the Jews hang the sheep. Up. The, so, who, 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 the, the lamb, sorry, the lamb. Do you mean the 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 Passover? So, yeah, the Passover supper. No, no, not just Passover. There's the, the Jews had a custom. So Jesus is seen as a sacrificial lamb. He's the he's the he's the real Passover supper. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, the, but there was the a Passover difference lamb. of opinion when it was. What I'm saying is right. we don't know. No, no, no. We no, know no, there no. was a crucifixion. We I believe there was a crucifixion. The Quran mentioned. We don't disagree. How the crucifixion took place? The day of the crucifixion is not the question. Okay, was it on Thursday? Was it on Friday? Yeah. Was it on Wednesday? That's not the issue here. Because the the issue is was there a crucifixion? Was he killed on the crucifixion? The crucifixion did it kill him. Now, when you go to Josephus and says, no, it's not just the Bible, the other ones say that he was crucified, they all say that he died on the cross. Yes. None of them would say that he appeared to be dead on the cross. None of them. So all the outside sources from the Bible, the, the, the other sources that quote anything about the death of Jesus, they never said that he survived the cross. There is, there is early stories that they believe that he didn't die on the cross. I'm sure I've read something okay, along that line. That would be a uh, first. And you know, I mean, I, I I'm not saying I'm that sure it something. could be that over 2,000 years I, I somehow know, we know, missed this. I know they say heresy, but I know that no, they I don't that care Simon if it's a heresy. Serene. As the long Simon, as it's a fact. The Simon Serene theory is there as well, where I know it was a... No, no, no. Let's, let's go with the... There is a historian 
that agrees with you that Jesus survived the cross. A, a, a legitimate historian, okay. right? Right. And you say that there is such a person, right? And I've never come across any historian that says, never heard of it, right? Okay. So, will, will you come here every week? No. Uh, so, we're going to miss you. Is there any chance that my friend here, he's a, he has a chat group. We can uh, maybe chat with you in the group. Put him in the chat group. Uh, not right now, we're on camera, afterwards, all right? So we will we'll talk to you some more. Yeah. But I think um, what your point is that, uh, you know, this crucifixion is kind of ambiguous. It's not, the, it's not at all factual because everything that's not from Bible but outside sources never ever has any doubt that he was crucified and died. Okay, so if he was crucified and died, that means that either Quran has an issue or these people, because they don't see the, the hostile sources that say this, they have no motive to Listen, say this. It could be that he died, and I'm not going against the Quran, because the Quran says they, they say that they killed him. But they but killed him made not. It appeared. They, appeared. they killed him not, right. they made it so the, to them. So does it mean they, the Jews, have said it and he did die? Or did it, did it mean that he didn't die? And, and he, my personal research is that I believe he survived the crucifixion. I, I've watched numerous videos on it. Yeah, um, but there's a major there. problem with that theory. Yeah. If you say he survived the crucifixion, yeah. but the problem is only God knows that he survived it, and none of the people on earth know that, including his mother and this his disciples. We, because now they're in the right the reality to, is, when they see him again, to say, hey, he is resurrected. Rather than your theory is he didn't resurrect, he just uh, recovered. So no one really knows what happened. Right. So your theory is he Jesus recovered. Christ, and that, you from know that these, early, no one really knows. There was no cameras, there was no books. No, he no, was, no. That's why we have we have people, a, eyewitnesses. No, we have eyewitness these books, accounts. These books were written years and years and years after. after By eyewitnesses. By eyewitnesses. That's disputed as well. You know that. It's wait, wait. like, no, it's, no, like no. it's like even no, it's to, to make it easy. To, not that I'm having a go, but similar. Like, look at the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Story. We don't actually know what happened in the cave. Like, was it when was, was it, it written dream? about? It was written later. This is what like how late? So, so for example, we look at the Sirah of the Prophet. So there were reports. Hadiths were written down early. Are those Hadiths original? Are they not original? That's something to get yeah, But it was then compiled like 200 Ibn, years uh, afterwards, 150, right? 150, I think, Ibn Ishaq yeah. and then right. Ibn Ishaq. So that about, means that it was beyond the what, eyewitness. This look, is look, what look. I'm the saying, point we is that I actually know. And as you go further in no, history, we, we can't. Okay, here. If there's a crime, yes. something called an eyewitness, right? Yeah. Okay, if I saw something happen. Now, if the police doesn't come to me for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, but when it does come to me and ask me, did you see this happen? And I say, I was standing right next to him when this happened. Yeah. Okay, I was there. That's an eyewitness account. No matter if it happens in my lifetime that it has been recorded, yeah. that's an eyewitness. That's a valid statement. Okay, so there is no argument with an eyewitness. Okay, so now, so if we had the... So, I, my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, the gospel, they spoke Aramaic, right? No, well, the they gospel. spoke multiple languages. Okay, from my understanding. Did Jesus Aramaic. preach in Aramaic in the synagogue? Did they speak Aramaic I in the synagogue? I don't believe that they spoke Greek. And I, no, no, no. The early in Bibles the Bibles were written down in Greek, right? Am I wrong? Listen, Jesus spoke Greek, Jesus spoke Aramaic, and Greek because he talked we don't to the. Know. Can, I, this, can I finish yeah, the please, sentence? Yes, please, okay. Why I said he spoke Greek is because he spoke to the Roman authorities. He spoke to them in what language? He spoke to the soldiers in what language? They understood Greek. Jesus spoke Greek. Okay, I'll research that. I, I don't know. So that. I just want to say, no, I'm maybe, not just yeah, saying it for the sake of saying it. Yeah, I'm yeah, giving yeah, you yeah, some yeah. evidence fine. behind it. The evidence. I respect right. that. But yeah, I could be wrong. I'll research that. I don't no, know. I mean, my I, understanding a lot of is, but my understanding is the earliest gospel is maybe, let's say the gospel of Mark. That's, would you say that's right. earliest? Okay, 60 go ahead. to 90 years after. And well, that was written by someone very smart, written in Look, look, there is something called a Q document that was prior to that. Yeah. So we can say it could be 20 years down there, right. there and then it was taken from there. But this is my point. We don't know what the Q document no, no, no. says. Look, that's not the point because the, if you say that, that means that the eyewitnesses that gave that account were alive when this was written. 
were alive when it was uh, six years when a mark was written. These are the people that were there. They would say, no, that's wrong because this is not the eyewitness. The eyewitnesses attest to this being correct. And that is why Luke says that I have eyewitnesses account that I'm getting this information from to give you a correct source of information so you can know that this is all correct, that I'm getting this corre uh, correct information oh, compiled for you. I'm, I'm, well, who but, but, I'm okay. skeptical. No, 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 you can't be because the thing is, you have a very, you think this is hard to believe? Imagine believing 200 years after somebody, where somebody said, my uncle's uncle's father and his cousin and he's a, that guy said, Muhammad said this. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay, what? I'm skeptical about that as well. Really? Yeah. So, so, but what I'm saying is, okay, that is not a traditional way of conveying information, but a lifetime eyewitness account way of conveying, that is a conventional, a conventional way of uh, conveying information about some important event or important person and what have you, because you get it from the, if it's an event in history, you get it from the people who were around that event in that history, right? Not 200 years, 150 I, I, years later. I, I, we don't know when. Like, right. Well, no, we don't. We don't. Yeah, okay. Now we're going into textual criticism, and that's a whole okay, different ball game. Saying, then, no, so we don't want to go there right now, because then I'll bring up stuff about Quran that you you, you, know, you don't want to go all the way. Over. I'm not here to point to I'm, I'm, I'm okay. just, my point. No, but I'm just saying you don't want to go with all the other discussions. Yeah. I'm not here to. I'm not having a go about the Bible. I'm saying for us, to, for me to believe that it has to be. I, I don't know if I can. Let's leave the Bible out of it. Let's okay. just talk about the crucifixion of Jesus. Yeah. Your belief that he didn't die on the cross. The problem with that belief is that then Allah is held responsible for creating a false religion, which is Christianity. It's false. It's only. It's only a problem if you're going to go to hell and Allah says, "Oh, you're going to hell." For My believing. friend, that, that that is the problem. No, no, no. It's why, not just because it, you're going to. Because if you believe in something that was not true, yeah, yeah. So let's because say, what do you let's believe? Just, let's just go with my argument. Let's say you're Christian yeah. and you're believing, you believe it, uh, and you're believing it because you generally believe it in your evidence. Right. Why is so, that a problem? Now the problem with your uh, with your belief system is because okay. Now I'll come to the crux of the matter. Yeah, what please. I'm talking about. Here's the crux of the matter. Without the death of Jesus, there is no salvation. According to you. Yeah. No, no, no. According to the history of the Bible, because it talks about from the beginning of time, there was a sacrifice for the sins of the world. So that is from the beginning of time. Okay, it's not from here and there and whatever. In the Old Testament, it talks all over the place about the one coming that will be, give his life and all that stuff. There's a lot of scripture that we can quote on that. So the whole idea of the Bible is Jesus giving his life as a sacrifice for our sins. Now, if he doesn't die, doesn't give the life, then there is no sacrifice, then there is no forgiveness of sins. Basically, that's it. And that's why Paul says in the Bible, without his resurrection, without his death, we are doing nothing. I that's your belief. Right? Yeah, no, 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 that's not my belief. That's in the Bible. I'm yeah, quoting I, I know, from yeah, the Bible. I, I know, that's what I'm saying. So that's the Bible is talking is based about. On the Bible, right? right. So, so the Bible is saying that, hey, without this event, there is no Christianity. All right? Now, you come along and say, well, you know what? Okay, Allah, he didn't want him to die. He just let it appear and now you have Christianity which is something that's not true and I'm saying wait a minute if that's the case then why would Allah create a false religion yeah. so Hinduism let's go to but this one Bro, I'm not Hindu of, why no, would I'm I discuss Hindu. that no, Hinduism is a beautiful like, is it, Bro, we, is we, we, look, let's look at Zoroastrian does, both, the, both let's, can let's create look. different religions but they, they can serve a purpose and we don't know the greater purpose of it. But my, see, this is a problem for traditional Muslims. I'm not trying Muslims. to talk over you, but I just want you to finish. Go ahead. Okay, please. so traditional Muslims will say, oh yeah, I get your point completely. You're saying, God's created those false religions and you believe in those false religions and therefore you're wrong, so you're going to go to hell. That's the logical No, that's not point. my logic, right, by the way. My, my logic is, first of all, when you bring in like Zoroastrianism and, and yeah. all this other stuff, the only people that Quran really mentions are Sabians, Jews and Christians. They have nothing to worry about if they believe in Allah and the last day and do the right works. Monotheists. So no no monotheists. What are you talking about monotheists? Bro, do you not... Do you not know what Sabians are? So Sabians were a group of people from the south of Yemen who, when the dam was broken, I think it was around the third or fourth century, they came up. 
they were original people. There's a dispute of what who what Sabians actually believed and what they are. So they, please, some people please, say they are people. Please, from Sabah. I, I don't know if you know me. Yeah. This is my subject. Please tell me. Please, I, I've been talking about this for the last yeah, year. My first debate with Abdul Mansur. Okay, there is a kingdom called the Kingdom of Saba. Yeah. You can go on the internet, yeah, yeah, type in Kingdom it. of Saba, yeah. and Encyclopedia of History will give you the kingdom and the yeah, history yeah. of Saba, and then it will give you the religion of Saba. So they had Al Rahman as one of the names of God, right? I'm not sure about that, but what it does say is they were moon worshippers. And, also, and they were Hubal worshippers. Alright? Yeah. Now that's that when I look at that, and then the Quran and Muhammad is saying, you know, the, my religion is Yemeni and stuff. And then you go to yeah. Kaaba and you have a Yemeni corner, which yeah. is the sacred corner, and you have crescent moons all over Kaaba today and throughout history you we're talking about crescent moon so god i've read the hadith i think to my yeah i'm sure it was a hadith where it talks about a prophet that was sent to the people of sabas and, and they believed in one god and i accept that there were other people early on that believed in different gods and there was the that the one god that could came, be the okay let's say they so believe in believe, one god so did they believe in the god of Je abraham monotheism oh, no, no. the god of abraham oh, yes. look so if i believe in satan i believe so I believe in one God, Satan. It doesn't have to be Abraham. Look, 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 look. There are Satanists who believe in one God. Just believing in one God doesn't mean anything. It does. For us, it does. No, no, if I'm a Satanist and I believe in Satan, yeah, but, no, but I believe course. in one God. No, no, no. no. Do you see what I mean? No, 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 I hear what so you, you say, have to believe yeah. in the God of Abraham. No, I believe that they, you have to believe there's one God, Tawhi, and you have to believe that's but the But who is this God, one God? And then I believe there's messengers and prophets that came. Obviously, let's say, let's just say, let's just say, let's say, let's do a thought experiment. Let's say there was a prophet that came down, obviously now it's not, but let's just say there was one that came with a message. Mine and your, like, we, are, we both have families, no, your children, say. my children, ten generations down the line, that message is lost. Yeah. Let's leave the conversation. Yeah, no, 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 I just want to make sure. Uncle Sam, I go by Uncle Sam. Nice to meet you. Alright, nice to meet you. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Um, I want you to talk to Chris and please get on the WhatsApp, okay? Alright, thank you. Alright, we got uh, these Muslims here. We want to make sure we get them on camera. Where is your body? My God is a spirit. My God is a spirit. All right, I was just showing what goes on here. We guys know what happens here. But uh, that guy was just trying to run away. Uh, Islam is false. It's a moon god worship, as we know. Jesus died on the cross and rose on the third day. And he's our God and our Savior. Islam is false. I'm out.